another fabulous video created by Original Pink Supernova. Welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and be sure to check out my other videos on my channel. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. All opinions are solely my own and all information is alleged. We got a double header in this video. We almost missed it. Cody throws definite shade at Gabe. And what is up with the COVID rules? Robin created them. Cody enforced them and McKelty lied about them. But why? We got to hand it to Gabe. He called it. He said if I get COVID and nothing changes then we know it wasn't ever really about COVID to begin with. And he wasn't wrong. Cody said he would care for Janelle if she got sick, but did he? Of course he didn't. The boys, Janelle and Savannah, worked together through it. Both Gabe and Garrison are estranged from Cody because he wants an apology. Not even we the viewers understand why. Probably more of his lack of loyalty bullshit. Where was his loyalty to Janelle or her kids? He left them completely on their own. He sat and ranted about how his rules were valid made a disgusting disparaging comment about pencils, and then had the nerve to try to offer an olive branch saying he would have done things differently. Dude you just tried to justify your rules. You can't have it both ways. Cody's melodrama about getting COVID is getting real old. That is not a fever, but idiot Cody completely thought it was. Cody doesn't even know what a normal body temperature is. This man has 18 kids but doesn't know that 99.8 is literally nothing. This man truly thought he was burning up. Cody said, and I quote, In my mind part of the healing process when you're sick is that love and nurturing you get from your loved ones. Oh really? Maybe we should ask Janelle about that because I didn't see you doing any nurturing at her house while she or the kids were sick. Oh wait, I totally forgot you don't do the nurturing. You get nurtured. Maybe that's something else you hire out since you're such a big man you don't want to waste your extremely valuable time. So not only did he not help care for Janelle and her kids, but he literally sat outside the ER after dropping off Robin and whined about how he didn't feel good rather than go home and care for Robin's four sick kids. Someone needs to clarify who exactly was caring for those kids since he obviously wasn't. It's probably good he didn't considering he doesn't know what a fever is and damn near killed Truly last time he was in charge of her. We may as well clarify something about that right now. He was so busy with Solomon, who had Mindy the nanny there caring for him the whole weekend that he barely saw Truly and neglected her. Then had the balls to say Christine never forgave him for it. He left a sick toddler with her teenage sisters to hang out at Robin's with his golden child. Never once did he self-correct and acknowledge he should have made the homes without a nanny the priority. I can't with this guy. People died. He had like a week of flu-like symptoms, and we will be hearing about his death-like experience for freaking ever. He then had the audacity to be mad at Christine and Janelle because they went to Universal on vacation and didn't stay to take care of him. Not the sick kids, but him. Just when I think I couldn't possibly dislike him more, he does something to prove me wrong. Cody sat in his car after dropping Robin and said he and I quote, considered checking himself in end quote. This is a slap in the face to people who were really sick. And that is not how that works, you narcissist asshole. It isn't a fucking hotel you just decide to stay at. The absolute depth of his lack of self-awareness is astounding. Cody wasn't worried about Robin. He was worried about who was going to cater to him, take care of him. It was all about Cody, as usual. Robin told Cody she was just lying there wasting away. She wasn't even given supplemental oxygen. She was assessed in the emergency room, given a chest x-ray and released. She wasn't even admitted. Her oxygen was 92%. She was only there for six hours. Cody complained that he didn't just have brain fog, but he said, I feel stupid. Okay, so no big change then, I guess. 
Less than three weeks after his death-like experience with COVID, he and Robin dressed up and participated in trick-or-treating for Halloween with their kids. Oh, Robin. Robin, Robin, Robin. Girl, you look ratchet. You should have wiped all that off and started over. Cody went on national TV and said he had a death-like experience with COVID. He didn't just lose his taste and smell for a few days like some people. I.e. Gabe, he was definitely throwing shade at Gabe as if forgetting his birthday wasn't enough. This fool sat there and cried about not being able to be near Aurora for 10 days, and she was literally 20 feet away in the basement while they had corona. But he didn't see any of Christine's kids for almost two months. He didn't go with Isabel for her back surgery because he was angry at her mother and Robin said it was too long to be away from her kids. Robin is always saying when you are in a polygamous family, you have to do things differently. I guess she meant everyone else needs to do things different, not her. Her and her kids have to always be the priority. She permitted Cody to travel to Brian's wedding in June 2021. Brian's no mask, no social distancing wedding. What happened to the rules? Cody was dancing with strangers, up in their faces and looked to be having the time of his life. He wasn't worried about corona in the least. Cody made a case for Mary to be able to help with the kids at the fire pit going away gathering for Hunter. Robin, of course, said no. Then Robin straight up lied to Mary's face and said Cody wouldn't allow it. Robin was the one screaming at the kids all night to social distance while Cody visited with everyone and ate off the same s'more stick as multiple family members, proving Corona was not a major concern to him. Robin keeps saying she doesn't understand why everyone blames her for the rules. She literally locked down her house as soon as news broke about Corona, long before any recommendations were released. It's cute that she lets Cody think he is the head of that family, though. She challenged Christine in the first film Zoom call about the family continuing to socialize. We blame her because it was her. The other three were fine with being cautious but still seeing one another. She was the only one that said no. Christine moved from Flagstaff after Robin's kids were back at school in person, but she blamed Corona for not letting the siblings mingle. That was Cody. He needed to show he controlled that family, at least when Robin lets him. McKelty and Tony created a Patreon and while their content is quite good they have done nothing but brown nose Robin and Cody. McKelty dropped a bombshell of epic proportion with her claim TLC dictated the corona rules and everyone had them. We have so many questions. Why wouldn't the other wives have the rules? And why didn't the wives know TLC provided them? Why would TLC provide rules for the filming when they didn't have a film crew? The family was self-filming. If TLC provided them there wouldn't have been any conflict. Never once did anyone mention TLC suggested them. If that were true most of season 16 and 17 was irrelevant. Why did we have to waste two whole seasons watching them fight over whose rules they were? Why was Cody throwing tantrums every five minutes because they were not meeting his specifications, yet they were supposedly from TLC? Why does McKelty think TLC provided the rules? Who told her that? If they already had them, why did they have the filmed porch meeting to get the rules? Who has reason to lie? We have three wives who deny they had any rules until right before Thanksgiving, and Cody with his favorite wife, who say they did. Who do you believe? There is something very wrong here. There are a couple options. 1. TLC provided rules but scripted all the drama. 2. TLC provided the rules but Cody sat on them until November. 3. There were no rules until Robin wrote them up in November for the porch meeting. We can't help but wonder if Cody was getting creative, i.e. lying again, and as usual not thinking it through. I think there were multiple sets of rules. 
Surely TLC sent out filming guidelines, and McKelty is confusing them with the 10,000 commandments of Cody as Janelle calls them. The November Porch Rules They are two different things, but Cody also said at the porch meeting these were for the family to socialize. There were different rules for him to visit the homes. So three sets of rules I guess. Seems excessive unless you are a control freak. We know TLC manipulates the filming timeline because McKelty said she couldn't attend a family event because she was visibly pregnant with the twins and it didn't fit their timeline sequence. What else are they manipulating for views? Do these people not remember they are being filmed? I mean, we spent 13 years watching Robin and Cody gaslight the family and watched Robin skillfully manipulate Cody into believing everything is all his idea. Are we ever going to get a tell-all host that calls them out and brings the receipts? TLC better bring some answers next season. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments.